Hey guys, this is Emily and you're watching The Bro. So today is the next part of my sketchbook history or my art history series. And now we're getting into the fun part. So this is the first sketchbook I had when I started college. I think I had got this right when I finished high school. So let's just get into it. And as before, I will kind of give this disclaimer that a lot of this stuff isn't um, safe for kids. There's a lot of nudity and swearing and some people were confused by my last video with like the guy's head in it. I wasn't trying to censor anything that I had drawn. I was censoring people's phone numbers and email addresses. So yeah, I'm not going to censor any of the drawings, I don't think. So here we go. Um, around this time... Oh, this is embarrassing. I, I drew this from like... A drawing tutorial on the DVD that's for kids, so yeah. <clears throat> Pretty soon after this time, I made a friend who um, used to draw really weird things, so <laughs> Some stuff is kind of out there. We used to try and in a kind of unspoken way outdo each other with like offensive and um, gross things. So I'm not sure how much of that is in this book, but it'll be coming up. Um, a couple of these are like bus people. Um, I had a sketchbook assignment in my first couple of years of school where it was kind of required to draw certain things and you had to submit the pages from your sketchbook. So they really encouraged keeping a sketchbook to the point of that it had to be part of our mark. Um, in design class, I believe. And there's some Dory we were drawing in class from um, frames of animation. Oh, okay, so this is um, my comic that I was talking about. In my last video, can come. Here's the original characters, like the original main cast that I came up with. Unfortunately, they are all gone except for Prince, Gil, and Tack. They are two of the main characters now. And then I appropriated Felix's name, and Prince's dad is now called King Felix. So, yeah, these are some of the earlier drawings I did. Yeah, these characters unfortunately are totally gone now, but that's okay because they didn't serve really any purpose. Um, this fish character is the first character I got to animate in school. Um, so before this we only animated like bouncing balls and a flower sack and stuff like that. Um, oh, this is one of my early drawings of the princess as well. And she's changed a lot. She's not Prince's sister anymore. <laughs> Um, yeah, her whole story is completely different. And I drew these two things right out of the Full Metal Alchemist manga. Again with the Full Metal Alchemist manga. And yeah, I used some of these in my, my previous video as well. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I had a, a brief um, <laughs> anthro phase, but yeah, I was never like fully on into like the anthro culture and anything like that. Oh, I get questions about um, these colored pencils sometimes. They're colorase, and I can do a video on them later about like the different things I use for drawing and stuff and what I prefer. Um, Prince, his actual design hasn't changed that much. Um, I used to draw this kind of like modern sort of style, like I wanted the characters to be in kind of like a modern setting and it was kind of like Final Fantasy influenced, but um, yeah now it is just like a medieval story so um, his outfit has changed and stuff but his hair is almost the same. Um, and the rest of his characteristics are basically the same, so. Yeah, this is my baby Tack. He's my favorite character. He's actually the first character I ever created for Kingdom Come. I drew him, um, 
on my animation desk, we had this piece of paper taped to the corner that the girl who shared the desk with me also drew on, and yeah, I just drew him randomly one day and the whole thing kind of came out of that. Um, this is Butch, <laughs> who was kind of this like superfluous um, effeminate character who kind of made the other like extremely hetero characters uncomfortable, but yeah, he's gone now. Um, Dean, yeah, I, I think from the beginning I didn't really know what his purpose was, so he's gone. Originally, I think his character was that he was hired by someone in the castle to work in the library or something. Those are some more bus drawings or cafe drawings or something. Um, yeah, scary. <laughs> so there's Felix. I really f totally forget what his character is about. Originally, the the comic was like a boys' love thing and. Prince was supposed to marry like one of the boy characters, but like I said before, I never really took it that seriously. I never really developed the story that far, so yeah, it's hard for me to remember now. And this is around this time I went through this phase of when I started getting into some mainstream comics like Marvel and DC, and that lasted a couple of years, I think. There's some object drawing for the assignment. Some unfinished drawings. So there's the princess from Kingdom Come. And yeah, at the time I wanted her to be like the stereotype, like gothic sort of anime sort of character. But um, in the beginning she had basically no part in the comic. She didn't have a speaking part. Yeah, that's entirely changed. The more and more I wrote the comic, the more she became the main character. She's almost like the main character now. So yeah, it's changed a lot. <clears throat> Some more Spidey. Pretty hard character to draw actually if you look at the poses in the comics and stuff. Very, very difficult to draw him. Um, oh, this is my beta fish and snail I had in my first year of college. They died though. and. Yeah, cats don't dance drawings. I don't even know. That's Prince and Felix from Kingdom Come and my hands. Um, not sure who that is. More hand drawings. And one of my cats that we got when I was in high school. Oh, this part was really hard. We had to draw cars for the sketchbook assignment and yeah, and trees and everything. And I was just so bad at drawing everything. My feet. Uh, I think these are suicide girls. I was drawing, I think, from my friend's book or something. Um, <laughs> there's Prince and like all his friends as eggs for some reason and there's another early drawing of Prince. I think I used this as like the chapter one cover. Um, there's a really old colored version of this on my DeviantArt. These are some of my classmates. Yeah, these are all my classmates. More hands. More horrible car drawings. I remember on the weekend just like looking out over the parking lot from the school and trying to get these done for the assignment deadline because I hated drawing this stuff. I just wanted to draw like cute characters and stuff. I didn't want to draw stupid cars and everything. There's some Felix, my hands, and some Harry Potter stuff. Oh, there's some more Kingdom Come stuff. Prince, 
Felix, Dean, and Tack. I can't believe I drew Tack naked. I'm such a perv. Um, oh my god. <laughs> okay, I might censor this page. Um, more of them. I drew Butch naked as well. I don't know why. More princess drawing. This um, X-Men page, except that, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I remember I was drawing this on the bus to Anime North. <laughs> A lot of these have song lyrics on them again. Um, I still hadn't grown out of that phase. I don't think I grew out of that for a couple years after this, so. And actually, I wouldn't mind getting back into it. <laughs> Not ashamed of it, like I said. Some Rogue. Um, some Life Drawing. Oh, I think this is the session where <laughs> the model had um, this huge tattoo on her back and it made me so upset because it was really badly done. Yeah, it was a hard session to get through. I think I left early. Some more comic book stuff. Storm, Wolverine, Batman, and Robin. And this is some Kingdom Come stuff with Prince, Tack, and Butch. It's a colorist drawing. I remember drawing that on my break when I was working at the mall. Some more life drawing. Oh no, this was the session with the ugly tattoo. <laughs> Spidey, it's really bad. And I think that's supposed to be just like a made up superhero. I don't remember that being any other character. offer any explanation for a bunch of the really weird ones. I don't know. I just draw whatever comes into my mind, I guess. Uh, there's also an old, oh shit, colored version of this on my demon art. rough drawing of a Christmas special I did for Kingdom Come. Oh, this book actually isn't done. Okay, I think I do that a lot for sketchbooks where I don't actually finish all the pages until I move on to the next book. So now I'll just move on to a kind of boring book from that same era. This was, um, Right when I started college too, it was my first life drawing book. And my first day, no, I think the second day of college was my first life drawing class ever. It was quite the experience. Some 
animation notes. And this first year, I remember I had a really um, lenient teacher, and I would kind of, I mean, most of the students had to kind of ask him for <clears throat> asking for direction and critique. I haven't seen that much life drawing so far in this book. <laughs> So there's one. That um, is from a statue, actually. We had a bunch of different statues and skeletons and stuff that we would draw from. And that's a bust as well. It's not a live model. You can kind of see here how I started to like really quickly ramp up with my skill. This obviously isn't like a great drawing or perfect, but I think it's pretty apparent with these two sketchbooks um, how rapidly I improved once I started animation school. do a lot of anatomy studies in this. It goes really into depth, especially in the year after this. Um, we started in portraiture. some of my classmates and I believe this was part of class we just practiced drawing each other and this was from an exhibit called Body Worlds um, I think it's been all over the place so you guys may have heard of it but it's this really disgusting cadaver exhibit where they've I don't know how they do it but they've pose all the bodies in these weird ways and you can see all the different muscles and ligaments and stuff like that. So we went to that and drew all the dead bodies. So yeah, I think this is part of my first nude model class. And that's actually that same model. And another model. A live model, I should say. They're not statues in this case. And we had um, a couple classes where we had a pair of models, and it was a little awkward to say the least. This one is cool. I actually really enjoy doing this type of drawings. They're called line drawings where you put your pen down and you can't lift it up and you have to draw the whole figure that way. Um, and these are some of my classmates. When we didn't have any models to come in, we would just practice drawing each other. <laughs>
That one's actually quite good, and I still like that one. Yeah, that's it for this video. I believe that was part three. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next part. Bye. Every night I come home from work, I sit down at this desk and I open up my laptop. And I try to turn the day's stressors, the day's ideas, the day's inspiration.